Shannon Bryant, Virtual Blended Learning Coordinator here, and this video is all about discussion over a website. Why would you want to do that? Well, there's a lot of great websites out there, uh, and sometimes you want to give a student website to go to to learn from, but they don't really know what to do there. So this allows you in real time to discuss with students and see their responses virtually. Now, these are typed responses that you read and go back and forth, but I think you're going to see some value in it. I'm going to use Insert Learning, which is a free Chrome extension, and I found out it's only free for so many uses. So after that, it is does cost. It's $8 a month. Um, I wish I had known that before, but it is so good. I just couldn't trash this idea. It's awesome. Know that you can also do this with Nearpod. It's just that it looks a little bit different and Jamboard, but I'm demonstrating insert learning. Okay, and of course you want to use it when you give students a website. So here is how you add the Chrome extension insert learning. You go to the Chrome store, uh, search insert learning, and then once you have added it, you will see this icon right here appear up at the top of your bar. Now whenever you are in a website, you just click on that and um, you'll, you can use all the tools. So we're going to watch a little demo of that now. So I'm using one of my favorite websites, MathBits. Now the issue with MathBits is you cannot manipulate the text digitally and use it in a different way, uh, but this is okay because you are not doing that. Students are just interacting with the text. So I've opened it up and I am going to click on my insert learning icon up at the top of my screen and you can see the tools that I get on the left hand side. The top tool allows you to sign to students, then you have a highlighter tool so you can highlight text that you want students to go to. You can edit the color of that text or you can give information like this is important or I want you to create a statement with this or whatever it is you want them to do with what's highlighted. You only can see their responses with the questions and discussion tools though. The next one that we're going to look at is the post-it note. I really like the post-it note because it's very different. So remember that this is me, the teacher, setting this up prior to instruction, or I guess I could do it in real time. Students will have similar buttons, but not all of them. So I had to highlight where I wanted uh, that post-it note to pertain to before it appeared, and then I can type in it. Over to the right in that post-it note, you'll see a little camera because I can record a video or, like I did, I pasted a link to a video or I can just put information there. Now, the next two tools are just tools that teachers have. I can create questions and I can make those questions multiple choice or open-ended or I can start a discussion post. So you see my finger just waiting there because I have to highlight on text before it can appear. So I highlighted a picture and I'm going to type my question there and then click create and it will show up for my students on there in, in real time. Our next slide is going to show you a video side by side of both teachers and students. So here we go. I've got my question created and now we're going to do a discussion post. So my website is all set up after this, and I'll be able to assign this to students. I believe in the video I'm also going to show you the dot 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 at the bottom of the screen so you know what that is. Since your students will not have the discussion post or the question uh, feature, you don't have to worry about them deleting your work, okay? Uh, with the post-it note and the highlighter, they can go back in and do that. Notice that you can share this creation with other teachers or students or edit it. A lot of different choices there. It's a great thing. Okay, let's go to our next video. In this video, you're going to see a side-by-side -side view of both teachers and students. So the first thing I did was um, I have change the view to student view on the right because since I'm logged into the same account you wouldn't have been able to see that but know that you can do that too you can see the student view you see the difference between the student and the teacher view how the student only has access to the highlighter 
and the post-it note. So this does make a great annotation uh, tool for them to use as well. Ooh, I just thought of that and I'm not even an ELA friend. It's amazing. So now we're gonna scroll down and look at the post-it note that, oh, now I'm gonna add a post-it note as a student. Look at that video feature. I can leave myself a video of what I think is important there if I don't wanna type. Or I could put a link on my post-it note, which is great for kids as they're trying to interact and understand uh, their text. So you could even say, hey, I want you to come up with three post-it notes with three questions on them because the teacher is able to see that on their end. Now I'm going down to the question and I uh, submitted my question. You can see the student's response and they can see each other's responses too. Pretty cool. I even can sign a point value to that. Awesome. Then at the very bottom with my, um, sorry, I must have clicked on that by accident. <laughs> at the very bottom, you can see the discussion post. Same thing here, the student types in their response, and then they'll post it, and I'll be able to see as well as everybody else will be able to see. I'll also be able to see who responded how, which is so great because in this time when students are working virtually, we feel like we've lost that ability to communicate with them and them to communicate with each other. So this student will be able to see all student responses. Insert Learning, it's a great tool. I know it's been around for a while, but I'm just now learning about it. And if you're a math teacher, middle school and high school, check out MathBits. It's a great tool too. If you like this video, subscribe and like it. Have a great one.